Suicide. One of the leading causes of death among college-age students is rarely discussed. Athens has a unique resource available to depressed individuals and to those who have dealt with the pain of suicide. UGA student Lisa Lansing talks about her experience. I just feel like I'm decaying from the inside, if that makes sense. Like, the in inside of me is just like gradually wearing away. It's called Nucci's Space, and it's slowly become an entrenched fixture on the edge of downtown Athens, combining mental health counseling and rock music. Physicians say help is here at a converted warehouse near downtown Athens. At first blush, it's merely a rehearsal site, but its clientele says it transcends music. A lot of what is done is just talking and listening and, and actually being interested and really caring. Linda Phillips founded Nucci's Space. It's named for her son, Nucci Phillips, a University of Georgia student and musician who committed suicide 10 years ago. He battled clinical depression. He fit right into the music community, he loved, um, that was his life, his guitar. I think in, um, he got tired. In 1996, he killed himself. My mom committed suicide at the end of September, and that, it was a big shock to my family. Um, I just couldn't believe that she would take her own life like that. She was so loved. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I know she suffered with depression for a while, and that just really concerned me because, you know, I knew she was depressed, but she wasn't seeing anyone. I didn't really know why she was depressed. And my mom just, she just didn't want to let people know that she was suffering, you know. And um, I, I was up there for her birthday in August. Her birthday is August 4th. And um, it was a fun time, you know. We, I just hung out with her for like a week with her and my family. And I remember talking to her about her depression. I was like, Mom, you know, you really need to go see a therapist or someone. You know, there's no shame in talking to somebody. Um, it happens, you know. She suffered with breast, breast cancer a few years ago. You know, she survived that. So she's been through a lot. And it's like, you know, there's no shame in talking to somebody to get help. And she said she would go see a therapist, but she just never, never made an appointment, you know. So, and then about a month, about a month and a half after that, then I got a phone call here that something had happened back home. I guess what makes me the most upset is that, you know, when she, when she knew that she was going to take her life, like she knew it would affect all of us. Now, I don't, at that moment, right when she did it, I don't believe she was the same person. I think, you know, it's, her mind was in a different place, so I'm not mad at her, but still it's hard for me to accept that someone could do that knowing they would affect everyone else that they know, like their daughters, her boyfriend, people like that. Um, anyone committing suicide, it's a shock to everyone they know, but since it was my mom, it was just devastating to me and my family. It, it, it seemed like it made it easier for me, just knowing that, okay, now, this sadness that I'm dealing with, I have to deal with it myself. There's, I'm never going to see her again, talk to her again, so I just have to deal with it and, you know, have friends and family there to help support me and just be around me. Just having people there, just being able to talk to them about, you know, serious stuff like this or stuff that's bothering me really helps me out, so it's good to have, and I mean, it, it does help me out to just talk to someone who's outside of the situation completely and they give me different ideas of how to cope with things, different perspectives on how to view things. I would like to try out like a group therapy session. I've never done anything like that for anything, so I'd be open to trying it just to talk with other people. I mean, I, I don't know anyone personally who's had to deal with a suicide um, in their family. So it might be helpful to connect with other people. Right. 80% is about our, uh, our success rate with you know, treatment of depression. But there's that 20% that it doesn't reach very well, and uh, then we really have to watch out for them. And support groups are real important in that respect. Somebody had said, well, do you think Nucci Space would have 
um, save Nucci and who knows, I, I don't know, but I think Nucci would have gone there. And I think if he was feeling bad in the middle of the night, he would have called Nucci space. Well, knowing that they have support groups is very interesting to me. I would like to come to that first. Um, and seeing all those instruments for rent <laughs> was very interesting to me too, uh, with the practice rooms and stuff like that. But yeah, I would definitely like to come check out some concerts or something like that, or just have a space to hang out. I mean, this is a pretty nice area. I think it's real important with cases of suicide and depression that people know what's going on. To me, it's like, you know, suicide and depression shouldn't be taboo. The more people know about it, the more they can be aware about it. It just could, could help someone else in the future, I guess. I just want people to know that it's not taboo, being depressed, it happens, you know, we're human. And if anyone is even thinking about suicide, they need to talk about it. And it's not a joke, you know, like if you think one of your friends is suicidal, you need to take it seriously. And don't just say like, oh, they're just being irrational. It's like, no, it's a serious problem. So, yeah. Nucci's Base is a nonprofit organization that celebrated its 10th year in October. Nucci Space has helped hundreds of people receive professional counseling. Well, I like the, the combination of the, like, the mental health support along with the music, you know. Um, to me, music is like a way to cope with depression or bad feelings, so it just made sense to me. And it's a good idea to have a space like that. To me, music is a form of therapy. So it just makes sense to have a space where people can come and cope um, while doing, you know, music and 